With Autodesk Tandem, specifying data requirements for assets is a straightforward three-step process. With facility templates, you can either follow industry standards and use those standards as a starting point, or build your own to fit the way your project team works. To get started, we'll navigate to the Manage page within Tandem. For this workflow, we'll focus on the first three tabs here, Classifications, Parameters, and Facility Templates. Here in the Classifications tab, we can manage all of the classification systems for our portfolio. Classification systems are used to define asset types and grouping or categorization. You can leverage preloaded industry standards or upload your own system as desired. To add a custom system, select a system and click download. This will create an Excel template to work with. In Excel, you can edit the code, description, and level, which defines how the line items will be grouped hierarchically. Once you have it set and saved, you can click Add Classification, give it a name, and upload your file. Within the Parameters tab, we can define the properties we want to capture for a given asset type or group. Again, you can either start with preloaded standards or create your own. For each parameter we create, we'll give it a name, data type, measurement system, and unit of measure where appropriate, and set the context. Either apply at the element or type level. Once we create our parameters, we can create our facility template. Within a facility template, we'll define which classification system is used and what parameters are applied across various asset types and groups. If I apply a parameter to a group, it will be applied to any asset types below. I can also apply multiple parameters to a single asset type. This gives you plenty of flexibility in how your data is structured. Now that we've created our facility template, we can go ahead and apply it to a facility. We can now select the template when creating a new facility, or if we jump into our existing facility and go to the Assets tab, we can click Apply Template, select the template we just created, and click Apply. In the case that anything changes in the future, all components are versioned and can be updated as necessary.